uh, you could do that hot coffee throughout the afternoon as well because the numbers are cool for this time of year. We're going to have 54 at the coast around lunchtime. It's going to be breezy. The base in Orange County, cool 59. The valleys and IE lingering clouds with temperatures around 70 degrees around lunchtime. There's not going to be much of a temperature range today on Meagles. We're starting off cool. We're going to just hang on to those cool temperatures through the afternoon. 50s and 60s right now. 50s and 40s in the deserts. Big Bear is at 34. So a very cold start there. You need the puffy jacket. And during the afternoon, 60s in the deserts. 60s for lower elevations. The average high in LA is 72 today. We're going to do 66. And in Big Bear, we'll have 51 degrees. So here's the headline. Stubborn clouds that May gray, early May gray is here. And it will produce some areas of drizzle this morning. So here I am timing it out for you. The clouds are going to be with us for much of the day. Here's the weather at noon. We may see some sun breaks. Um, enjoy it. The clouds move right back in as we head towards sunset. Tomorrow morning starts off cloudy. The difference is that tomorrow we may get some clearing a bit quicker and there will be a little disturbance that brings us a slight chance for some showers as we head into the evening hours, mainly for the foothills, the mountains, maybe even some sprinkles out towards Big Bear. By Saturday, we're going to have this bright sunny start. Now we also have to watch out the winds. The winds lately have been causing problems up in the deserts. That's where they're going to be today. They're going to get even stronger in the afternoon and evening. And here we are looking at the weather this afternoon. It's breezy along the coast. Now we'll fast forward to tomorrow. We'll start off with those gusty winds in the deserts. The difference is that tomorrow afternoon, everyone's going to feel the winds. We're going to feel them for lower elevations at the coast and in the Inland Empire. So tomorrow we expect it to be a breezy afternoon for us. And it's all because of this area of low pressure. Right now it's over the four corners. It's causing this dip in the jet stream. That's why the numbers are cooler. That cool air is filtering into our area. But just two more days. Once the weekend hits, we'll have high pressure start to do its magic and warm us up and also bring back the sunshine. So here's a seven-day forecast. We're stuck in the 60s the next two days, and then we bring back the 70s starting on Saturday. Let's start making those plans. Mid-70s on Sunday. And next week, the sunny and warmer weather will continue. If you're a fan of the cooler weather, enjoy the next two days. You can leave that AC off. But over the weekend through early next week, we're going to have to start um, uh, turning on that AC to cool ourselves off. We'll have temperatures in the 70s, potentially the 80s next week. The high desert, low desert, watch out for the winds. Cross winds, high profile vehicles, careful traveling through that area. Blowing dust is also a possibility for our friends over in the low desert. I'm um, looking at the weather uh, for this weekend. Stagecoach looking warm, 86 on Saturday, Sunday, 92. And in the mountains, slight chance for some showers today and tomorrow, drier and warmer over the weekend. That's your forecast.